Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shusli Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the heart. Of course, you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on those channels. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. Um, on Sunday, when the evicted house, sorry, the nominated housemate guys were actually, they went to the salon to make their hair, right? Um, Cassia's hair actually took off the social space. You guys know she also, she's also um, into hair treatment, how to make your hair grow full and whatnot and there is this thing that is say that you should be able to advertise what you have actually worked um used and it has worked out so that when you want to give an example you can cite yourself for an example so people see in her head they're like i can't wait for this girl to come outside so that we can start patronizing her because her hair is the proper definition that truly her product is working so right now cassia is inside the house but people are already waiting for her to come out for business. That is how this platform works. A very powerful one. I keep saying it. You see this Big Brother platform is a huge one. It's not even about winning the money. That platform has really helped a lot of souls. Meanwhile, talking about Cassia, um, Cassia and um, the one of the pair of the double K pair. You know, the fans have been jubilating that they actually passed through the first eviction week. Right? You know, and the funny thing is, the two of them do not even know how much their fan base is right now, at least for now. And guess what? They are still playing their games very well in the house. Still busy letting the housemate know that they don't have a thing. In as much as the housemates are still busy telling them they need to be a thing. They actually fit each other, but they still insist on no-go area. You know, this particular picture has got people talking on how Kelly Ray is looking at Toby right here. You know, people are like, yo, Kelly Ray would be like, now this one won't chop my own man. <laughs> you know, so they are like the way these people insist insist on their storyline and never want to change it it really choke and i think that is one of the reason why they have got some certain fan base and even this girl toyo C, she has actually gone on oh. so toyo C was asking him that have you guys not thought of having a thing and he was like ah no we cannot have a thing it's too early and the guy was like but you guys that came in together you've not even thought of it and he was like no ways anybody that's interested in her can actually go for her i'm like okay interesting in fact Kelly Ray is trying to play the scripts perfectly. Do you know what he did? They were having this game, you know, and caught by their social prefect, Nelly, with, with her assistant, and what was the name? Femi David. They were playing this game, and then if you did not answer it, they would actually give you a truth or a dare, blah, blah, blah. And then it was, I think it was Chizoba, they told Chizoba chose there. So they told Chizoba to rock Kelly Ray. Was her name? Cassia was sitting opposite, directly opposite the um Kelly Ray. Immediately, Ke Kelly Ray went straight to sit on the chair, get set for Chizoba to actually rock him. He was not acting, act, adding both spices, both soto, both curry, time, everything. He was like, "Oh, Chizoba, come and rock me, Just, yo, guys." I'm like, "Okay, you know, in this thing, what I don't know if people learn a thing or two when this all of this thing is happening." Because I learn a lot when it comes to Biggie's show. It's not about the fun alone. I learn a lot. You know, in the life, right? When someone is at fault, they do extra. They shine their eyes extra. They try to claim extra. They, everything is extra. That is the extra Kelly Ray is doing there. And guess what? She's a bad day drug. And she was, he was even insisting. I don't feel anything now. I don't feel anything now. Drug me well. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like the same way he is playing. I want Cassia to play like that because guess what? If it was Cassia who did what he did, 
they would have been dragging Kaseva now. They would be like, oh, married woman, this is what he did. Even General Pere, which is my crush, would have said one or two about Kasia. But because he's the guy, nobody is saying a thing. You see why life no balance. <laughs> see how husband Kelly Ray was watching Toby Forge when he was promising his wife Cassia a trip to Monaco. I told you only fasting and prayer going to save this married couple. I think it's going to even surprise many people that I think these people will conquer. I think they are re ready for this game. You know, for people who has dated 10 years, I don't think they will let this thing affect them. But you know, this platform, though, <laughs> can be so funny at times. All right, coming from um, Ed Swings. May the God of Toby Forge answer his prayers. He is working over times. Cassia, don't let your husband stop you from meeting your husband. I am really shipping Toby Forge and Cassia. This ship must sail. See how Cassia was rubbing our holler. But you guys are, some of these people are funny. He said, don't let your husband stop you from seeing your husband. Meaning, <laughs> you know, there is this thing that people say, don't let your boyfriend stop you from seeing your husband. Try to don't, don't spread your eggs, don't put it in one basket. Now, somebody that is married, they are saying, Don't let your husband stop you from seeing your husband. Wahala, not too much like this. Coming from dark velvets, Toby Ego. Okay, I'm gonna skip that tire when he leaves the house. Kersia and Kelly are giving him serious headache. Now, talking about Toby, right? Um, people are actually saying that, in as much as we are having fun with the gameplay of the double k and toby but at the same time have we come to realize that it has to do with somebody's mental health that have we thought about toby's mental health in my mind i'm like everybody's playing the game they all went to biggie's house to play this game if they were not ready for this game they shouldn't play and the team says no lose guard wahala for who lose guard oh guys my own take has always and forever be let the best gamer win i am sorry but if you take away shatoria wani x handy Aces, Checkers, and Nelita from this show, we will have absolutely nothing to talk about. So please save them at all costs. What do you think about this notion right here? Because I think this is actually making sense, you know? And then Darlene says, so you know even rate my double K, Kylie. And she said, I forgot. You see, the double K fans are everywhere. Yo, they are everywhere and they just show that they are also, when it comes to action, they are there. Coming from a canoe of Lagos, my opinion based on what I have seen so far in one week. Okay, let's see the opinion and you will tell me if you accept this opinion or not. Okay, for Sean, Sean clearly has one of the hottest and biggest storyline in the house right now. Also, they has two stories, the love story with Wani and the Shatoria um, Debeko. Beyond the storyline, he stands out as one of the smartest contestants, a cool kid, and a gamer with streets OT. Wani X Handy. Their energy is off the rooftop, and yesterday's party, that was Saturday party, was a testament to that. They are not just the life of the party, they are the party. Imagine if they were not at the party yesterday. One of them is part of the hottest storyline in the house. So, uh, Marconi is actually giving his own take on some of the housemates he thinks for the past one week he has observed and what the people they think that is needed in this house right now. If you do not accept, because he is listing names to say things, if you do not accept in a particular name, just mention it and tell me why. Onyeka, she is the one person who seems to know everything happening in the house. I call it being self-aware, not just CNN or something. Onyeka is smart, funny, and highly entertaining. Cassia and her husband. Cassia is not only beautiful but also super talented and radiates positivity. When Toby finds out about her marriage to Kelly Ray, Baba might. <laughs> I'm gonna skip that. I pity him in advance. Already, you no know, Toby has was telling on this girl during after the Saturday night party, right? I, I hope I'm right. That oh. If I get to find out that you have something with Kelly Ray, I'm not going to forgive you. But if it is someone else, I might just take it. But when it comes to Kelly, I'm not going to forgive you guys one bit. Or more, post-show drama go choco. Tofa says he has carried him. Okay, no, he said for Tofa, he has carried himself exceptionally well, very composed and strategic. Tofa brings much more to the show than just his looks. He is definitely one of the standout contestants this season. Nearly. 
her love triangle with two boys is one of the most talked about topic in the house right now. Beyond her attractive looks, Nelly is capable of holding co engaging conversation and is quite strategic. The radical boys. They are very sweet to watch and very talented. They should just keep up the, with the energy and continue to be visible. Now, the thing is, with all the features you gave each of these housemates, if fans did not vote, other people that you think are boring would top them. We, sh we should always use these checkers as an example. Coming from label says, these hairdressers, okay, they were actually calling out um, Lush. These hairdressers, okay, I'm going to skip that word. All these housemates, they are the weapon form against them. Wani and Handy ask for your ponytail back, Mama. We will manage. When they were making the housemates' hairs, fans were really complaining a lot. Any stylist, sorry, any anti stylist, please take it easy. No edges to work with again. Your hands too tight now. Those fans were complaining on behalf, behalf of their fave, like as if their faves do not have mouth. They were like, oh no, the stylist that came this time around. In fact, with the way the fans are complaining, I don't think they will bring the stylist back again to the house. I think they might switch them, bring some other stylist, you know, because see the pictures they were sharing. They're like, what kind of hair are these ones doing? That these ones are not professional. On a reality TV show as this one, they should bring professionals, you know, to the house. They were even tagging Lush hair. As you can see, Kylie says, I am sorry, but Lush hair Nigeria, can we get an explanation? Dorothy says, my sister, I beg, help me ask them. The lady wants to remove my cousin's scarf. So they are actually calling out on the stylist too. So seriously. But I'm going to end this video on this note. Coming from Nabi Aben. The level of, I'm going to skip that, existing in that BBN of a show is alarming. The way I unsubscribed the thing, I was so interested to watch it. But no, it is not different from blues. Hmm. Zero moral rectitude and a lot i can't mention i wasn't expecting it to be a gospel concert but at least a fair show of not people deep okay i'm gonna skip all the touch what not you know now this lady has come to do what we are used to if you've been following this show so deep you know that one thing people do so easily is to talk down on the show on how is this is that nobody forced them to watch it they have tried many times to see if they would stop the show. They no still do anything. Nobody stopped them. They they actually showcase televised football. They do this, they do that. Nobody is complaining. Allow people have fun. It's not that deep. The moment they will switch on their tele is maybe when the salesmen are speaking about lovish ish and they will say that's all the show is all about. They don't get to see their tags. They don't get to see what, some other things that you can learn on the show. For me, I learned a lot on this show. I don't know about you guys. Anyway, trace guys, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sending with me. Bye for now, babies.